That would be me. Look who we're hanging with. Brian O'Halloran. Jason David Frank. Humberto Ramos. Please do not change channel. All right, welcome back. Thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe. That way you can keep coming back over and over to hang with us and our fantastic creative guests in the arts and entertainment world. I'm Allison Murray, and right now we are at the Orange County Convention Center in Orlando, Florida at Megacon 2018, and we are hanging with artist Greg Kilpatrick. Thank you so much for hanging with us. Hi, how are you today? I am great. How's Good. the con going for you so far? Uh, it's going great. Uh, I mean, second day, yesterday for a Thursday was huge. A lot of people here. Um, a lot of fans turning out. It's been a good show. Fantastic. And it's only day two. Exactly. So just imagine. So tell us about your artwork. Well, um, I've been dabbling in, in comic art um, for quite a while now. Um, I've done some small press stuff in the past, and that's really where I, I'm at right now. Um, do some... Uh, Rick and Morty covers for for them, um, which is definitely something new for me. That kind of style and the the cartoon is, I guess, really popular with the kids. Um, I also worked with Richard Rivera on a Stabity Bunny cover, a variant cover for his book, which uh, just came out last week. Um, and kind of dabbling in that, doing private work for people, and and doing shows like this. Wow. Um, so, why do you do what you do? What drew you into becoming a comic book um, artist? I, I, at a very young age, I think my grandparents had comics laying around to keep the grandkids busy when they would, would come over. Um, and I really got attracted to that. I, I liked to read a lot as a young kid, and the pictures really drew me in. And, and from there, I would always be drawing at, at home on anything that would be laying around. And there was a pen or pencil near, I would draw on. Um, and, you know, I just, uh, it's something I, I fell in love with, the books, reading the books and, and wanting to do that ever since I was a little kid. I went to college to do, get an art degree and, you know, try and do it as much as I can now. Yeah. Do you have a full-time job other than I, being an artist? Yes, I do. I do. So. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, you know, I got to make sure the bills are going to be paid for sure, you know. Um, yeah. So this is supplemental. And this way also I get to, get to pick and choose what I want to do and it keeps it, uh, fresher for me and I don't get uh, you know, a little bored or, or you know put down by you know I don't want it to be like any other job you know I want to make sure I have fun doing that or what's the point Exactly. You know? I hear ya um, so how do you work do you have like certain rituals that you like to do before you get started quirky uh, not, not really I just um, like I said with with a real job and, and a family at home I, I got to just squeeze it in when I can uh -huh. so um, it's a little difficult. Uh, you know, it's usually as it gets later in the night, that's when I'll start getting moving. And, and sometimes that makes for late nights and yeah. maybe not, not quite enough sleep, but, you know, it, it works. Yeah. Um, has your style changed through the years as you've developed your artistic abilities? I think it has. At the beginning, I think I was a little more rigid and trying to make everything look perfect or, or look like the guys doing the big comics. And I had to, to feel around and kind of find my own style where I'm comfortable, a little looser, and, and not um, be so determined to make it look absolutely perfect. Because it doesn't need to. It, it needs to look like uh, everybody hopefully has a little bit of a definitive style and they can, they can bring it in. My stuff's a little more old school because that's what I grew up with. Um, which makes it a little more unique these days, because yeah. it, it's not like most of the younger creators. Yeah. Um, what work do you most enjoy doing the most? Um, that's tough to say. I like, I like most of it. Um, doing things at the shows is a lot of fun. It's a kind of puts a little bit of pressure on you because people are here and they want it. You know, yeah. it's not something I can take home and take a couple weeks on. They want the thrill of seeing it being done and meeting the people and talking to them. So it's, it's kind of nice to get you know, a little bit of a challenge to you know, get something done within a certain amount of time 
a lot of requests for things you don't normally do. Oh, that was my next question. Yeah, it's, they come and show you a picture and say, hey, can you draw this? Yeah, I mean, sometimes people come up and see what you have and say, hey, I like how you draw Venom. Can you do me a Venom? And that's fine, because I like drawing the character. But sometimes they'll come up something out of left field and be like, hey, can you do this? You're like, cool, never done that before. You know, those are, those are fun. Those are yeah. fun, yeah. Uh, what themes do you prefer? Do you have themes? Do you like, like, the Captain America type yeah. Well, you know, superheroes are superheroes are my my first love in the comic book things. Uh, so, you know, with comics expanding the way these are they are these days, there's a lot more comics that aren't superheroes, which I enjoy as well. But they're not as fun for me to draw. I like the cartoonish characters and the muscle bound guys and you know breaking through walls and explosions and stuff like that. You know, more exciting stuff. Uh, do you have a favorite art piece of artwork that you've done? No. No? Not really. You love them all. No, I, you know, I just, once I do a piece, I'm on to the next one. So I don't try and think about it too much. I used to, at the beginning, hang on to a lot of my things. And, you know, and then one day I pull out a big bin of stuff. I'm like, why do I have it here? Let, let, if somebody wants it, then they can have it. Um, describe a real life situation that has inspired you and in, in your personal life, professional life, huh. that's, being that's, an artist. That's tough. Um, inspiration, I guess the, the biggest um, thing that, that I had growing up as a kid was my parents were very much in favor of me doing pursuing this. Um, and I know a lot of kids who like their parents like you don't do comic books those are for kids you'll never do this but my parents really pushed me to do something I loved when I was first gonna go to college I was gonna go business I don't know what you know do something like perhaps my father did um, and they're like but you know you love art you have a talent for it do that and I was I was scared because I'm like well I don't know what if I don't make a living they're like do something you love you know so they were that was the biggest reason I'm still doing this, honestly. Oh, that's great. Um, most embarrassing moment? Well... <laughs> um, Especially at the cons. <laughs> at the cons, it's usually... Um, and it probably happens to a lot of people. You get people come up to you and think you're someone else. They'll bring me a piece of art to sign, like, oh man, I'm so glad to meet you. Finally meet you. Can you sign this? I'm like, I, I didn't work on that. I'm um, like, oh... Oh, I thought you were someone else. Oh, like, you know, that's a downer. <laughs> yeah, but look around while you're here. You know, but it's not I, bad. Yeah, I can sign here. Buy one of mine. Exactly. <laughs> um, what memorable responses have you had about your work? Um, I guess the, the it's nice to see people who come, especially at the shows, get commissions or, or get something from me. And a lot of times, as an artist, we're very hard on our own work. We're our biggest critics. And I'll draw pieces, and I'll be drawing it and be like, oh, I don't know what's going on. What am I doing? What have I done? Why am I doing this? I can't believe this person paid me money to do this. And they come up, and they love it. The look on their face is like, wow, it's so amazing. And that makes you feel so good inside. It makes you feel like, wow, you know? You know, because you're your worst own critic. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, nothing's ever good enough for me. <laughs> Nothing ever is. And... And, but the people, they love it. They, they, you know, it's just great to see that. It's satisfying. It builds you up a little bit for the next piece, you yeah, know? I can do this. All right. <laughs> what food, drink, song, or anything else inspires you to be better than you were today? Oof. I don't know. I don't know if, if <laughs> any of those things inspire me to be better. Um, I know music gets me going. It, I mean, me yeah, there's, yeah, if, if I sit down and have the music playing, the, you know, certain songs get you a little more What's your favorite, uh, you like rock, country? I, I'm, mostly I'm into rock, um, not country, not, that's, that's probably my least favorite, sorry. Um, rock and roll, you know, I'm, you know. Old I'm, school I'm, rock I'm, and roll, right? 80s? Yeah, we, it's, yeah, old school now is probably 90s for everybody, but yeah, like 70s and 80s stuff is, is you know, most influential in my life growing up, so that's what I usually have playing. Awesome, yeah. mine too. I'm a country girl, but I get into the rock and roll. I love Elvis. Oh, you know, yeah. my Come mom. On. My mom was a huge Elvis fan growing up, <laughs> so I learned, you know, to to like Elvis as well. <laughs> love it, love his stuff. I know. Uh, 
What do you dislike about the art world? Anything? Uh, it can be tough. It can be. There's a lot of there's a lot of people out here who want to do this. A um, well, lot of competition and. Um, it used to get me down a lot, seeing all the people and, and you know, meeting editors or people in the industry and, and a lot of, you know, you're not ready yet or keep trying. And that was a little, always a little, a little depressing. Um, but I, I think I'm at the point now where this is more of a supplemental thing for me. It's something I enjoy to do. It brings in some money. I don't have to depend on it for my, my you know, my life. So I, I try not to let much of it get me down anymore. It's, it's. I do it for fun, and if I'm not having fun doing it, I'm not going to do it. That's a, that's a good way to look at it. Absolutely. So what's coming up for you um, after today, after the weekend? The after after the weekend, um, drive home. I live in Miami, so a nice quick drive home. Get ready for the next show, which is probably going to be uh, Supercon uh, in, in actually Fort Lauderdale. Uh, I think it's in July. So just get ready for more stuff to come in. Hopefully a lot of people come here and, and want me to do some stuff for them at home and keep me yeah, busy until exactly. then. Exactly. Yeah. And where can people find you and your artwork? Uh, all over social media. Uh, Facebook platform, Instagram, um, Twitter, Tumblr, all of the... Pretty much put my name in, the word artist after, and you'll find me. Okay. Very good. Um, and what else... Um, what is your dream project? Do you have a dream project that you haven't done yet that you're just dying to... Um, uh, there... Do? I don't have a there are there are some things um, that I would like to do, um, you know, my own creations, like the guy on the banner. It's just I created this character, just drawing one day, and, and um, I put him on my banner because I used to have Deadpool and Carnage on my banner, and I would oh. consistently get people coming up. Did you create Deadpool? So I'm like, I'm going to stop doing that question. So if they ask me if I created this character, yes, I did. And I've got some stories rumbling around in my head. I'm not exactly a writer. But I could probably put a little short story together. And that's what I'd like to do. Do something where it's my creation. I can do what I want with it. Nobody forces me to push in any direction. Yeah. And, and it'll get something out that's solely mine. Yeah. That sounds like fun. We have time for a game. We have time for a game. All right. We have a game. Great. We're going to play Mad Gab. Okay. Have you ever played? I have not. It's really fun. Okay. And basically what we do is we just pick a card at random. Okay. And in the little bubble... It's not English, oh, so we have to guess what we're saying. Oh, really? It's really fun. So, okay. <laughs> and then the answer, so if you pick bubble B, it's on the opposite side. No, on the side, side. On your side you want. Oh. Whatever side oh, you think. <laughs> Whatever side. <laughs> so, you want me to go first? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Define hull eggs ham. I have to. You have to guess what what that is. What? Define hull eggs ham. Define hull eggs ham. Ah. That's not English. No, that's not English. <laughs> uh, wow. Define hull eggs ham. Are you ready? The final exam. <laughs> okay. All right. Your turn. All right. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. All right. Sheet, urn, ditto fur. Sheet, urn, ditto fur. Sheet, er, did she earn a fern? <laughs> and it's on the other side or it's upside down? So it would be A on the other side and it would be up here. Oh, she turned it over. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that a crazy game? <laughs> How do you win at this game? I don't know. It's difficult. I've done it, but it's difficult. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, guys, it's been a blast hanging with Greg today. I'm Allison Murray. But before we go, we would like to thank our very special partners at Krypton Radio out of LA, Famous Faces and Funnies, Off the Chain Radio with Yvonne Mason, Space Coast Comics. Asylum Convention Entertainment Services with Heather Reed and our great friends at Summon Unique Magazine. These are the folks that share our videos all over the World Wide Web, and we hope you will too. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think of today's show and our guest. You can also check our guest links below. Remember to subscribe, log on, and stay tuned to see who we're hanging with next. Thank you so much, Greg. Thank you. It was fantastic.
Thank you.